Hello, my name is Disa Lubker Cornish. I am the program evaluator at the University of Northern Iowa Center for Social and Behavioral Research. I will be narrating this presentation on the gendered impacts of participation in high school activities on adult life experiences. Research has been conducted on the impacts of sports participation, and it has been associated with both positive and negative outcomes later in life. The purpose of this research was to take a look at whether participation in sport and non-sport extracurricular activities during high school were associated with any adult outcomes later in life. Specifically, we wanted to know how, if at all, those associations differed between men and women. We used an age-targeted telephone survey of Iowans who graduated from an Iowa high school between 1988 and 1998. So it had been about 10 to 20 years since they graduated from high school. Three measures were used to operationalize participation. The number of activities was defined as the sum of the sports or non-sport activities respondents participated in. The participation years measure was the sum of the total number of years spent in all sport or non-sport activities. Involvement was the sum of respondents' involvement self-ratings for all sport and non-sport activities. Adult life outcomes were categorized into six main groups. Physical health, mental health, life satisfaction, civic engagement, education and finances, and risk behaviors. We looked at associations for the whole sample and for men and women separately. For each outcome variable, we ran a hierarchical regression analysis with three steps. School size, academic performance, and a measure of participation. Separate regressions were conducted for each of the three participation measures for both men and women. About half of the sample was female, most had at least a college degree and were employed full-time. Most also attended a public high school in Iowa and described themselves as A or B students. Most men and women participated in some kind of extracurricular activity during high school. A greater proportion of males than females participated in sports and a greater proportion of females than males participated in non-sports. Among women, the greatest proportion rated academics as most important to them during high school. Among men, the greatest proportion rated sports as most important to them. On average, females participated in twice as many non-sports as sports. On average, females also reported nearly twice as many non-sports participation years as sports participation years. And, on average, females reported higher involvement in non-sport activities than in sports. On the next few slides, we show an overview of the aspects of participation that were significantly associated with various adult outcomes. Results are presented for males and females with sports and non-sport activities within each group. The three measures are represented by the letters N for number of activities, P for participation years, and I for level of involvement, and are shown only when the association was statistically significant. This slide summarizes the physical and mental health outcomes. This slide summarizes the life satisfaction outcomes. This slide summarizes the civic involvement outcomes. This slide summarizes education and finances. And this slide summarizes risk behaviors. The next few slides show the change in R-squared for step 3 of the regressions when it was statistically significant. 
In other words, the values found in the following tables are the proportion of variance in adult outcomes that is explained by the measure of participation. For example, on this slide, the number of sports participated in explained 1.2% of the variance in males' days of vigorous physical activity and 1.3% of the variance for females' general physical health. There are more significant effects for males than for females. This is true for sports participation years as well. And it is also true for level of involvement in sports. Regarding non-sports, the analysis strategy was the same. There are more significant effects here for females than for males. This is true for non-sport participation years as well. And it is also true for level of involvement in non-sports. The vast majority of respondents participated in some activity during high school. Results for males showed more associations between sports participation and adult outcomes. For females, although there were more associations between non-sport participation and adult outcomes, there were significant associations between sports and outcomes as well. Males and females differed in how they participated in extracurricular activities during high school. Results show that overall, participating in some kind of sport or non-sport activity had a positive association with adult outcomes. The associations were very small. In many cases, the variance explained by the regression models was less than 5%. There are clearly other factors involved in fully explaining adult outcomes. Thank you for your time. If you have questions, you may contact the Center for Social and Behavioral Research at the University of Northern Iowa.